Hello everyone and welcome to Long's Toys. Today we are taking a look at Studio Series number 28, Deluxe Class Barricade. So here is a pretty cool picture of him on the side. Another cool picture on this side. Marks him as an Autobot though, which I think is interesting because he definitely is not. Has a Decepticon symbol here on the side. Although now that I think about it, these might always just be Autobots regardless. I don't know if these actually change. I'd have to actually start to notice that. Anyway, nothing going on the bottom. Nothing going on, on the top. On the back, you have robot mode, vehicle mode. Uh, yeah. Police chase, it just says. So there you go. Not too much going on. Uh, this looks like some kind of scan to win. So I don't know if... Somebody wants to scan that. I will not be scanning it, so first come, first serve. There you go, guys. <laughs> I don't know what that means. But apparently it's an officially licensed product from Ford, which I know you guys are all worried about, so don't worry. It's officially licensed. Anyway, let's go ahead and get him out of the box, and let's take a closer look. So here's Barricade with the backdrop that he's included with. It is reminiscent of the fight from the first movie that he has with Bumblebee in the, I guess, refinery or factory, whatever this is, little industrial area. Uh, in the very beginning, well, not very beginning, but towards the beginning of the movie, has a fight with Bumblebee. So I think that's the backdrop that they're going for. It looks very cool. I love that they include these little stands, and I just wanted to show that off for you guys. I think it looks pretty good. So here he is out of the packaging, and the first thing I will say is Barricade's pretty short. Now, he does have this weird leg thing where if you really wanted to, you could stretch the legs all the way out. But I think that looks kind of weird. But that would give him some height if that's your main concern. But they kind of do that thing what they like to do with the Decepticons where they give him those kind of weird, like, back knees. Just to kind of, I don't know, I don't know why they like to do it, but they do. <laughs> and I think that looks better. But it still just makes them really kind of short. I mean, it's not a huge problem. It's just that, you know, for a $20 Deluxe, these guys are getting tinier and tinier as time goes on. But let's take a look at the head sculpt because I do think that looks pretty good. A lot of nice paint there. The silver and the gold. A little bit of blue there around the crest. Red eyes. All looks pretty good, so I appreciate that. Uh, otherwise, he's mostly black. It's got a little bit of silver painted down here on the feet. Obviously, he has the police logo painted on the white here, which I think looks really sharp and nice. He still has that to punish and enslave from the first movie painted there on what will become kind of the rear of the car, which I think is really cool. So I like that a lot. But yeah, overall, mostly black. So head can move on a little bit of a ball joint here. Now, he does have this kind of like goatee piece where if you kind of put that down, it kind of like sinks into the chest there. But then you can't really turn it, so you kind of have to lift it up before you can turn the head around. But otherwise, it's a ball joint. You have a ball joint here in the shoulder. There's kind of a weird movement in the shoulder here where it connects, but that's really for the transformation. But if you want to rock it back a little bit, you can. But the ball joint here is the main uh, articulation. You do have a bicep swivel under that where the gray piece meets. Then you have this for an elbow. And then the hands don't really move at all. Um, I mean, I guess they can go in and out a little bit, but it's very minimal. Down here at the waist, nothing in the waist, but you have a ball joint in the hip. Not really a thigh swivel because of how it's made. And then you have the two weird knee joints, and then you have some movement down here in the ankle. So he's got a decent amount of articulation. Um, let me reposition this. It's just not a ton of... Like, like the legs to me are weird. Like, he doesn't have a thigh swivel, which I don't necessarily need. It's not a big deal to me. And the, the knees and making him taller but not looking good, I don't know. It's a whole thing. <laughs> but overall, I do like the look of the robot mode. I think he's pretty cool. He does come with this weird accessory, um, it's just this weird kind of saw blade type grinder thing. It's a soft plastic so that, you know, kids don't hurt themselves. Spins around and it just, you can see here, it's just a peg. So it just pegs into his hand. So you kind of push the hand close around it and then there you go. He's got his weird spinny weapon thing. You know, it's alright. It's not bad. 
But that's pretty much it for articulation. Let's go ahead and get into the transformation. All right, so the transformation is not too complicated, but there are a lot of panels and things that have to line up, so it can be kind of a pain, but we'll go ahead and get into it. So you can start with the arms. Basically what you're going to do is you can see how they're kind of folded up. You're going to just fold them back down and they just kind of accordion down like that. You can straighten that all out. You're going to fold this part down and then fold the hand back into it. And you want to make sure you can get that in as far as it can possibly go because that's going to come into play later when we have to put it into place for the rear of the car. It can be a problem if you don't have the hands pushed in as far as they can possibly go. Alright, I think those are in all the way. We'll find out later. Anyway, so those are the arms. Uh, you can just kind of move the I like just move the legs down just to kind of get them out of the way. And then you can just kind of push the feet up into the shins and leave them there. You can bring these pieces down in the chest. Kind of straighten them out and bring them down. You can go ahead and fold the head back into the chest. So you're going to fold it just straight down like that. Then this part gets a little weird. So you're going to bring out uh, this backpack becomes the hood. So you spin that around. Then you can spin this piece around. And that becomes the roof of the car. And then you have to like lift this out and kind of accordion these pieces like the chest out. Just be careful with these little soft pieces. You want to make sure that they go where they need to go and sometimes you have to kind of push them past. These pieces on the front really like to jiggle around on their own. So you can kind of bring the arms back to get them out of the way like this. You're going to bring this down. And this part's a little weird, but so this piece, which was connected to the hood of the car that was on his back, will come down and it's supposed to, let me make sure I have this straight, uh, come down and peg in between these two front pieces. But like I said, these pieces move around so much, it's kind of a pain in the butt. So this is supposed to come down and peg in between the two. There we go. I think that's good. And I realize it's a lot of black, so it's hard to see, but that little piece pegs in between the two pieces that were on the chest. And so that's the roof of the car. All right, so coming back to the legs, you want to fold them up so that you can kind of make this as flat as possible like that and then you need to get this up as much as possible as well so that's kind of how that looks you can go ahead and peg these all together back here and it can be a little difficult to do because again stuff doesn't really want to line up there we go. Okay, so that's all pegged together like that. And then these whole arm sections will eventually come back. Now you have to be careful because um, these little window pieces need to get in there. These little tabs need to get under here. And this is the part I was talking about where I said it's a lot of panels lining up and, you know, not being a pain in the butt, which almost never happens. So... <laughs> and see the problem is this is the problem I have so these are the knees and obviously these dopey hands are in the way and they like have to fit like ever so gingerly around those and it just doesn't really work all that well and it's really like half the time what I end up doing is kind of pulling this part down and then trying to get this stuff all in place because it's just it's difficult and it's not fun and it's really a lot of stupid clicking tabs and panels and trying to get it to stay together when all it wants to do like with every fiber of its being is pop apart and it's really just a pain in the butt 
So you can see you get this stuff, but see how like it doesn't want to stay together? And maybe I'm transforming it wrong, but I swear I did what was in the directions. I still haven't quite figured out how this is supposed to work, but also you can see that there's a little tab right there and that's supposed to fit into this little tab right here. So you have to kind of get this down and really kind of just push. And I know that's not really the best thing to do with transformers but sometimes with this one you kind of just have to push everything and then that has to get pushed in there and i apologize if i'm too zoomed in and you're not really seeing this but so you kind of have to push this like crotch piece in as you like try to connect all this stuff together and then get these panels up in here and then you can close this up and then i think you can get it to all go in where it's supposed to. And there you go. Once you can get everything lined up, you have your cop car. So it is a decent little cop car. I do like how it looks. And once you have it all together, it holds in pretty well. It's just a manner of getting all the arm panels to kind of clip into place. And then while you're holding that, you kind of have to push the crotch piece in, make sure the legs go in, make sure those little tabs fit into the feet. So it's just a lot of lining everything up. But when it comes together, it's a good, solid little cop car. Rolls very well. And I really do like the design of it quite a bit. If you have the uh, weapon from earlier, you can actually, you can see that there's a little recess right here where you can go ahead and peg this into the front. And now he can go around and mow people's lawns or maybe snow plow just come through take care of all that for people <laughs> it's just kind of a giant ridiculous weapon on the front but yeah overall i really do come out there we go i really do like the cop car once you can finally get it in there it's just a little bit frustrating at times to get through the transformation but i feel like once you get the hang of it it gets a little bit easier but still it's a little frustrating probably a little bit more than it has to be so I gotta say, this barricade is only alright. Um, there have been a lot of barricade figures over the year, and I kind of still think that the very first barricade from the 2007 movie toy line is still my favorite. Uh, the transformation was fairly easy. He had a little frenzy that could pop in and out of his chest, which I thought was a really cool gimmick. I still think that's my favorite. Um, I think we got one in Dark of the Moon as well, which I kind of remember being alright. And I know we just got one in uh, The Last Night, which was okay as well. Um, this guy's not bad. He's just got a couple pieces that are kind of more frustrating than they need to be. These weird things on the chest, uh, they kind of flop around when you're trying to move stuff around. They kind of pop up and down, which can be annoying. Um, the legs, again, I feel like a little unnecessary and it just kind of makes them really short overall. Uh, these pieces in the back, these little weird rubbery soft pieces, you know, they're not really needed. I kind of wish this would go up more and f sit flush against the back again these are little nitpicks they don't make the figure terrible by any means but little things that i just wish and i really do feel like the hands get in the way in the vehicle mode uh they should be able to retract more or maybe just not be as big or something along those lines the little accessory is fine i don't think it's that amazing um you can you know give it or take take it or leave it rather <laughs> so overall like i said he's fine he's not amazing but he's fine. If you don't have any version of Barricade, then sure, pick him up. You know, the the figure uh, robot mode looks fine. The vehicle mode is nice once you can get it into the vehicle mode. I just think the transformation is a little bit more frustrating than it needs to be. Um, yeah, I mean, if you already have like a hundred other Barricades, I don't really think you need this one. Uh, but as long as you know what you're getting going in, I think it's fine. It's just not amazing. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Please like, share, comment, subscribe. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And as always, thanks so much for watching.